Today we're gonna to make the perfect buttermilk biscuits. They're soft and fluffy and flaky, and they peel apart in layers, and they taste like butter and a little bit of sweetness, but 100% awesome. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and click the little bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new delicious recipe. Let's get into it. So buttermilk biscuits. Super simple in concept, but get those beautiful flaky layers. There's a few steps that I like to take to make them extra special. So I'm gonna cut in the butter into my dry ingredients using a food processor. You can do this exact same thing um, using a bench scraper. Et voila. Um, or using two knives. Don't recommend, but in a pinch, excellent. Um, those are obviously pie crust videos, but the same concept applies. Um, and then you'll just kind of like check back here um, after I've completed my cutting in. Step one, a set fit the blade. Technically there's multiple different types of blade. I only use one blade, whatever. AP flour, just go ahead and put all of this in your food processor. If you're making it by hand, just whisk it in a bowl. I've got sugar, salt, and baking powder like a lot okay put it in and then we are just going to pulse those together just to incorporate that's it kind of fancy schmancy we're just not whisking and then we're going to add our butter this is cold and cubed not very well but it is theoretically and then put that back on and then we're going to pulse Every now and again, the best way to do so is by hand. Um, just kind of like verify the size of the pieces that are in there. They're really large. Okay, carry on. Check it again. Okay, so we've got we've got some small. We've got some you know kind of larger pieces. If you don't cut it in enough, then not enough of your flour will be coated in butter, and not only will they not be flaky and soft but they also, you'll need more moisture in order to create the biscuit. Um, and that's not great either. Yeah, so we've got some nice, like mostly small pieces. You can see that the flour has changed color a little bit. So it'll be less white and like a little bit more butter colored. I don't really know how else to explain that, but um, that way you can tell that um, your butter has pretty much, you know, incorporated in there. So actually I'm just going to do one more. So really beautiful. There's still pieces in there. Awesome. Um, and that was, that's it for our food processor. I'm not going to make the biscuits in the food processor because then they're just going to be, you're going to over mix and it's going to be flaky. It's just going to be, I mean, they're still going to taste good, but whatever. Realize that my lack of vapor is a recipe for disaster. So I'm going to fix that right here. Geared up. Let's do this. Pop this off. So we are going to put this flour mixture on our bench. Now, at this point, this is where you would be done cutting in your dry ingredients um, by any method, and then we're going to start to do the rest by hand because I think it really adds um, an extra level of flakiness. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to start to incorporate our buttermilk. You're gonna get messy, okay? Th that's fun. This is the fun part, right? By doing it this way, by hand, you're not developing a lot of gluten, and so you're gonna get like a really nice tender uh, crumb instead of, you know, a tough biscuit. Literally nobody likes tough biscuits. You can use your bench scraper to kind of help you out here. Okay, yep, so we're just tossing. Obviously, that's not a biscuit, so adding a bit at a time to get it in there add the rest of our buttermilk and obviously this is not come together yet but it could it's just or I haven't made it do so and the reason is because I am going to roll it and create layers almost like we're doing like a puff pastry or some sort of other laminated dough we're gonna do that with our biscuits. And this is the true trick here. Obviously, it's not very pretty to look at, and that's fine. We're just going to 
essentially pretend like it is, okay? This is the key to not adding too much liquids to your dough. So you're going to use that and you're going to fold it over. Now at this point, if you do find that it is too dry to come together, then you're going to add a little bit more buttermilk. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more buttermilk just before I do the next turn. We're going to do three turns, essentially. You see how like it's starting to kind of come together? Do you see that? Yay. You're like, I don't trust you. Trust me. All right, and then you're gonna do one more. Did you see how it's now made a nice little dough sheet? <laughs> yeah, it's almost like I know what I'm doing. Okay, and then we are going to do our last layer. Boop, boop. Okay. And this is our dough packet, right? So now we are ready, we've laminated our dough, and we are ready to, we're gonna wrap this and let it chill, and the gluten will relax, and the moisture will start to incorporate, because buttermilk is not water. You know, it takes a minute to hydrate, um, and so that's part of why you can add too much buttermilk if you just go ahead and like dump it all in the beginning. So, I'm gonna wrap this with plastic. Okay, just go ahead and scoop it on, boom. Wrap it really nicely, and we're gonna let this sit in the refrigerator for probably about like an hour. Um, you can do it overnight as well if you'd like to make this the night before and then make your biscuits in the morning. 100% great. Um, so I'm gonna pop that in there and we're gonna let them chill. Okay, so our biscuit dough has chilled. I've preheated our oven to 350 degrees convection, and we are ready to eat biscuits. Well, not quite yet, unless you like dough. So we're gonna unwrap this. I'm just gonna do a little bit of bench flour, not a lot, just, you know, a little, like, you know, really light dusting, okay? And we're gonna plop our biscuit dough out, and then flour our rolling pin, and then we're just gonna kind of press that out. Now, you can just cut them with a bench scraper and make, like, squares or something and get a perfect yield. I am going to use a biscuit cutter, aka a teco mold, and I am going to put them in my pan like that. All right, let's go ahead and cut them all. So we've got five in our pan, and then you can kind of take this one and maybe make. Um, I don't like to knead it again or roll it again because then you get kind of a you get kind of tough biscuit. So I usually just kind of take the last part and press it into basically the same shape and size, and then I have one extra. So this makes, obviously, seven biscuits if you do it like that. It'll make eight, about eight if you cut them into squares. All of our biscuits are beautifully set in our pan, and we're going to pop them in our oven. Uh, they'll bake probably, you know, 12 to 15 minutes. Um, you don't want to overbake them, but you do want to make sure that they are done. So I will check back in. We're looking for like a nice golden brown risen um, and kind of set to the touch. So it's been about 16 minutes and I, they're almost done. I just want to drizzle a little bit of honey on top. I love honey on my biscuits. You don't have to do this. You could put um, a little bit of heavy cream if you'd like before you bake them or you can do even um, a little bit of butter right now. I'm gonna pop them back in the oven, get a little extra brown, that uh, honey will kind of soak in and create a crust. And they're out, woohoo! So that honey just kind of created a nice caramelized top. Um, it kind of soaks in, it also makes it shiny. Who doesn't love shiny? Um, and you can see that they rose beautifully and they're nice and golden brown on the top. If you put heavy cream on them before they bake, um, they'll get extra golden brown on top. It's time to try. I'm just gonna grab one. You see how beautiful and golden brown it is on the, on the bottom? I mean, guys, do you see those flaky layers that, oh my goodness, like they're flaking off? Oh my goodness. And that steam that's rising. Oh dear. Mmm. Oh wow, it's got a little crunch on the top, a little sweetness, but it's soft and moist and fluffy and flaky 
and buttery. Huh. All of my favorite adjectives right here. Oh my gosh, this is, wow.